Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to our meet campaign in Total War Thrones of Britannia and we're very close to kicking Sudreyar out of our territory, out of our lives, at least for a pretty long while. Apparently, while defeating the armies of Sudreyar, the Scots, right, Sersen, started to push back on their forces as well. So we are getting a bit of help from people who we don't really interact with. And as for now, I would like to go ahead, march through this territory. I, if I get a chance to raid, I will raid the lands for for that extra legitimacy. Now, I thought about one thing while taking a break, is that I never explained why I didn't go for this, for example, or why I never talked about going for this. Well, I mean, it's good. Getting these 20 legitimacy from both of these researches is good. But I'm also afraid that, I mean, as soon as we get 20 legitimacy, what we're probably going to do is that we will annex one of the vassal factions, which puts us back where we started from. Like that, that is my thinking. Uh, it is the main reason why I've not go, gone around and... Uh, let's recruit two units here. Why I haven't gone around and... Uh, pushed for that research in particular, okay? Just so you know, it's not that I've missed it, it's just that it's, I don't really feel like it's going to pay off too much. We should go for this, reducing the corruption would be good, this 10% income to all will be really good, and Sacred King, that extra loyalty, should balance out some of these penalties here. So for this we need a moot heal, law or thing chains. I think we could construct one around here. We spent some of the money. Or here. Let's see. If I upgrade, if, if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look at... Mood heals, where were they? Commerce, farm, industry, villages. For great holes, it's this one, right? Yeah. Oh, this is just 15 corruption in the territory, not around it. Okay. I was thinking whether to upgrade this central one because it's going to have an impact on the surrounding areas, but I guess that is not the case for this. Well, let's go for Cav next, just until we can unlock the, the leadership tree. For the rest of the units, you will stay here for one turn because I don't want that extra attrition. With this general, we're gonna make him an even better commander. RS troops to recruit. Like, I think I'll just... Or no. No, no, no. Let's not... Let's recruit these so they can replenish. And then we'll put them... I think we're gonna go raid a few territories. Like, for example, some of these are not really our friends. Like, they, they trade with Sudreyar. Right? Oh, we have military access with them, but... They're also in... in... With fair words. Oh, no, they're not in good relation with... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the case was, what I was thinking. Uh, happened there, but Seafarer, let's see Is that guy back into Into action 
So family tree, yes. Uh, Loinstech, not yet. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for this turn. Let's end it. Now this faction, I think we could go ahead and raid it. This guy, we can... Rumor has it that this man is working against us. You have four loyalty, why are you working against us? So we can ignore him, which lowers our influence and he becomes vengeful. Or we can pay him off. Let's pay him off for now. Okay, Lainsech became came back. We can add him here. All nice and loyal. Has a bit of zeal which increases the public order. That is good. Not nothing else for the rest, unfortunately. But what can you do? Okay, building constructed cattle farms, another one of these round towers, nice. But also our corruption, no. Hmm. It felt like we were producing more before. Can't do that. With you. Uh, yeah, so we're going to push the king here. And we're gonna tell him to start raiding the territories. Nice. 400 gold per turn. No. Sudrayar only has this territory left here. Nothing else. No. Like, no. That is awesome. Sursen came. Look, it's King Ed. He came over to take care of Sudrayar. Yeah, now Sursen is becoming a power, uh, quite a power in the area. Stratclut as well. Northumbra seems to be disappearing. Wessex is doing quite well here. Helping Mirs. Oh. Yeah. Apparently East Angla is no more. Or, yeah, well, apparently Stanglia has two more villages, but not that much. Or three. Huh, okay, it's it's a pretty interesting map, I have to say. Now for Diflin, do I want to cancel vassalization now? No, I think we can combine all the others, that all the other territories that we have at the moment, or all the other allies. When we have the, the legitimacy to do so. I think I would bring. And that I should bring this army south. Start raiding some of these lands. Or. Another plan would be. Like. No. If he takes this army north to fight him. Then I am going to be pushing into this territory. What are your allies? You have defensive pacts with Sudreyar. You are a military ally of Stratclut. Okay. These territories... Like, look, they, they get... Penalties because we're fighting Sudreyar. That is not great. Everybody is. Are they that friendly with Sudreyar? Hmm. I didn't think that that would be a thing for them. But 
But yeah, I guess they do. Anyway. Do I want to keep these armies here? That is the question. And I think it's a bit of a no. I do want to go south and create a bit... Some more conflicts. Rating this guy. Let's see. Persuade me. He's a vassal. If I go this way, there is a monastery here. And the territories are this, which has five and five. That's that could be pretty useful. So, question, do we want to fight Sudriar to the death? I think not. Okay, I'll keep that army there. I've spent enough time and since I'm not sure exactly what I'll do, I'll just keep them there and replenish their supplies. Recruitment, yes, let's bring more swords. That's it. And with the rest of the money, we're just gonna keep them in. Oh, by the way, if we take a look at decrease, plus two to loyalty, major diplomatic bonus to all other factions, yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Good, let's see, so Im Importunate, plus 2 to governance, minus 2 to public order, plus 1 to the governor of Eilech, Love Weaver, do I want to go to the next level with this one? I think we will do that, to put that mood heal here. This area has a bit of a potential to, to become a good economic power. Well, go ahead and do that. I think it's a good idea. This guy is moving away from this territory for some reason. Yeah, I guess I'll bring you over and I'll start raiding. You can count on us! He's besieging this territory. We are gonna keep raiding it. Pick up those feet. Let's see, am I not getting anything because... Yeah, I guess we are not getting anything because on the war he is besieging. Let's reinforce, let's help our allies. Maybe if we help in a siege battle it's Never. what counts as helping them I am not sure but we're gonna learn David made a peace treaty did they, they lose this territory? they did not thinking about going to war with them as well anything else on hand? let's see nope that's it with the last army we have here, nothing to recruit, maybe one more archer, good. And the turn. Okay, so now we're helping our ally. 
it's not even worth fighting more than that. So I'll just do a quick auto resolve. Let's get the replenishment. My abilities are growing. Okay, irreproachable. Pa plus free to public order from High Cross Building. Also, awesome. Always on guard from Round Tower Building. Plus free morale and mediator. Awesome. Horse breeding plus fifteen percent to our charges. That is great. We are now at two legitimacy. Let's see, none. Yeah, it didn't offer us anything for helping our ally. Should I just go here? I hope you will not try my patience today. Declaring a war will definitely bring these factions in. So, question is, do we want to go to war with Stratclut? Strength ranking 4, with a bunch of territories. He has the White Church of St. Ringan. I am thinking, if I'm coming here and I start raiding his lands, he might get a rebellion, but he might get a rebellion in a place where I don't want a rebellion. Our bravery is legendary. Right? Can't do that. He's coming to take over the village with one stack, I'm not sure if he's going to get defeated or not, we'll see. Governor, let's continue improving him. No, and let's see. Speak true, I will listen. Defensive long memory hates empires. You know what? War is what we do best. We go. Let's start marching south. Let's see if we can get this this guy to to attack us that is what I'll do and I'll bring our king over here and we're gonna start raiding his land getting that extra diplomacy I think that that is the best choice we can make for me another level into silver I don't see why not. You're a welcome sight. What can I do? You're a welcome sight. Uh, we'll keep you as a vassal. Let's see. Military alliance? No. Forgot I have coffee. Mm. I don't know about you, but when I have a cold, like getting a good cup of coffee that's made just right is is heaven. And I don't I don't really think it's the caffeine, it's the taste that I love the most out of everything. That maybe it's a combination of both. Like you never know with this. Move up to position. War is what we do best. Okay. Um, okay. He managed to take that over, but he lost another territory. I am going to bring this army the into the, the city, gales. have them replenish. For the glory of the gales. With you, stop and by the glory. city. Let's see. More recruitment, please. We have four spears, we have two swords, two axes, but I don't want these, these units anymore. So let's continue. 
the journey south. More food. See, is this in a well protected area? No, it is not. I would like to add more food. But I would really like to do it where, where I know that we will be keeping it. Is this completed? No, it's going to take multiple turns. This is more inland. But there was another territory here. Okay, let's upgrade this one. And turn. We still have one legitimacy and we're gonna start raiding the, from the next turn, starting from next turn. And I think for a while we're not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna sit there until they declare war on us. Discipline in battle can win wars. We should focus our efforts on a style of melee taxing instead of letting each man charge and do what they please. Uh, get axe or get spears? Get axe, please. It's definitely what I'm looking for more than spears. Let's bring two more axe units here. And then have the army move forward. With King Flan over here. Just go inside their territory. Pick up those feet. And let's start raiding. Stay tight there. We're probably going to, we're probably going to move a bit like so. Not I don't possible. know. We'll see. The men are eager to get to it. Uh now I would like you to you have already four commanding stars. Going for zeal could be one of the things that could help us. More than quartermastering, I guess. Villager plus five income from raiding. Minus two enemy morale in local province. That is a good idea as well uh, or we could go for a bard though we're already at minus two zeal minus one from personality and there's minus one from the research that we're getting okay let's try to bring in some pillagers i think we have no we don't have a military access let's see tell me why you're here no, he doesn't want to give us the military access. Shall we step our boundaries? I think the answer to that is a yes. I know. We're creating enemies. But I think we're already there. We already have the enemies. Plus 20% research rate. Sure. Let's go with that. End the turn. Now I'm not sure what to do with David. I mean, I'm going to kick him out of Ireland and maybe then I'll vassalize him. Mounted warrior drills plus six melee skill for cavalry units. He became a philosopher from the library building, plus three governance, but minus one to loyalty. You? Let's see. We Where are the we? You can leave. He gained raiding and blocking Dewitt. Minus 15. Okay, so we're not doing that bad yet. Minus two to raids. From raids. You may enter my halls. I promise no more than that. Why are we getting minus two from raids? Is it because we're raiding a faction we're not at war with? The sooner we conclude, 
the sooner you can leave. You will regret. Okay, so we've declared war on them. We are eager for glory. And I'm just gonna besiege this settlement. Maybe get some help. I am afraid that if we're gonna leave it like that, he's going to come back here and besiege the settlement. Oh yeah, now there's an 11 stack army there. You may enter my halls. Not sure exactly what he'll do, but we'll see. This governor, you have plenty of loyalty. Let's start giving him the scribe. Fear us. War is what we do best. And now we can come here. I am going to try to raid him. Now these are Vikings, Do not waste it. so we'll see if we get, if we stay at minus two on the next turn or, yeah, I'm not really sure how that mechanic goes with the rest of the factions. Maybe we're getting plus two from raiding enemies and we're getting minus two from raiding people who have nothing to do with it. Like people with whom we are not at war? Is it some sort of honor thing? Provider... yeah. It does seem like that might be the case. Okay, do we want to go with at war with him? Speak true and do not try my patience. Offer to go to war with Dewet. Oh, their demands. No, our. Let's see. To go to war with him, military access. No, he won't give us. Um. Get some payments. Um, maybe if we do this, let's see. This is the best. So we joined the war. I'm not sure. Does this mean? Oh, our meaning Sudreyar is our enemy now. The men are eager to get to it. Again. Did we peace out with Sudria? No, we did not. Eilech, it's, it seems like Eilech and our vassal is still going at it. Shall we take over this territory? Or shall we keep raiding? Uh, that is the question, huh? I guess I'll recruit two more axes. Everybody stand there. We'll get there soon enough. And we'll go forward here. Get With you, I am going to auto resolve this battle. Liberate. Now let's occupy this one. Abbey of St. Patrick, plus free allegiance to faction wide. That is a pretty good bonus there. I don't really want this, but I'll keep it for now. Neither do I want the smithy. I guess I'll just demolish it. Uh, we're going to replace this with a pottery shop. Another governor available, right? Let's see if we can get one who's good at governing. Every... 
Now, once again, what do I want to do here? I guess for one turn I'm just gonna keep raiding it. That's it. Anything else to build? Maybe go for the next level of mine. But that's about it. End the turn. We need more food. That is for certain. Dewitt is going home. Good for you. This guy, yeah. I was afraid of that when I saw his fleet. Let's see, now we're, we got two points from raiding. For the glory of the I'm gonna keep raiding while going towards him. Even though this will tire our troops out. Can he reach the next territory? Like, he can't take this over, that is for sure. He can come here though and cause some chaos. Which means... We should be recruiting maybe a different army. Two spears. Uh, yeah, let's make like so. I'm gonna bring two spears, a sword, an archer. We shall see what we do with the food now. We demolish the blacksmith here. Hopefully this guy does not get to this place until we do. Pick up those feet. Move it now. Um For the glory of the I come here. Move on out. And I just start raiding. Minus 52 food. Higher taxes, minus 5 on Eilech, minus 1, minus 3, but we have plenty of food. So we'll keep high taxes just for a moment. With this guy, you're at zero loyalty again. Secure loyalty, please. And public order. Sure, let's publicly thank him. One loyalty, but it stabilizes our regions. No. And I think that's about it for now. Let's end the turn. See what's going to happen here. Sudriya defeated our allies' forces, which is very unfortunate there. Yeah, they keep advancing. Mm, influential, minus one loyalty, plus one to governance, tight-fisted, okay. I'm just gonna continue raiding while continuously going for him. If he's attacking that area, that is totally fine by me. I am going to bring this guy into this territory. Like so. We're gonna start raiding. While going for that. Sirsen and Sudriar went, made, did the peace deal. Train cavalry. So we can upgrade some of our troops now. None shall stand against us. This long port will be upgraded in four turns. He has plenty of troops here. The men are eager to get to it. I think I'm just gonna keep raiding him. 
And with the king. I am going to start marching him to the north. Seems to be about the same whether I go on water or land. So I don't see the point of going through the water. I'm going to take this territory. Let's see, everybody's raiding. I'm going to go for research next and I wanna improve what? Range units? Do we want more economy? I think range units is probably where we're lacking some strength right now. With the money we have available, now he's at 2 loyalty. He has a spouse that provides him with minus 1. Because she's wise. Let's divorce them. He gained the trait, trait upset. Uh, minus one loyalty and plus two to usurper allegiance. Oh, come on. Let's find you a better wife. This guy is so hard to please. <laughs> Insult? No. Pay him off? Yeah, let's go for a pay him off. That was a lot of money. But I guess sometimes it does not pay off. Uh, to play with people's lives. Okay, here. We have a brand new territory here which we can make pretty rich. Pretty stable. I'm going to start demolishing the, the stones, shiny stones. And we're going to put in a high cross, I think. Yes, let's start with the high cross. And governor, anything that's good? Nope. At least you are young, could bring you in. Sure. Let's bring this guy in as well. Let's work on securing his loyalty. Publicly thank him. Now we have free public order for free turns. I think that's all that we need to do today. Yeah, that's about it for, for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we continue improving our legitimacy, trying to make this area stable and hopefully progress to a point where we can consider ourselves, uh, you know, pretty, pretty stable. And that's it for now, I wish you all a wonderful day.